So as you see here in this step, I'm just scanning the car with my iPhone. So I'm using an app to scan with the depth sensor on my camera. So and trying to get all the details I need. And in this case, I just need the roof to make a roof for it. So I'm gonna focus on the roof. So as you see, I'm just trying to get all the angles with my device and then I'm gonna go to save it as STL to continue working with the SOLIDWORKS. Alright, and here is the scan that we just generated with the iPhone. So, <clears throat> with some cleanings, I mean, I just deleted some parts that took uh, took off with the scanning, and I just deleted them to keep only the car. So, what I need is only this piece that I'm gonna model, and it's the roof for it. So. I'm gonna go to power surfacing menu directly, create a planner surface. Okay, so get the top view and I'm going to take this. Let me just remove the mirror for now. And I'm gonna take this little bit, this little quad here. Let me just scale it down and insert it on the top here. So I have my roof is just like this and one, two, okay, maybe it's until here and I can start to mirror it, all right. Now what I'm going to do is just selecting these faces, go down a little bit and right click, go to add constraint vertices and make sure you just constrain it to mesh. Right, so you got this and I'm going to uncheck the Z buffering and adjust it. So I don't need this to be merged with the reference. So I'm gonna right click and remove the reference. So now I got this free. So that's gonna be the start of the roof. Let me just clean it a little like this and make sure it's good from the right side. Okay, now I'm gonna take all of these edges and get the right plan and try to extrude it. Make sure you uncheck the constraint to mesh to prevent it from attaching to the surface and hold the A key and extrude. So just, I'm gonna extrude one, twice, so like until here, and let's see the look of the roof from the side, just to make it just a little bit curvature. Okay, so we got something like this, and I'm gonna insert another edge here because this is going to be creased. So I'm gonna crease this maybe about 65 or something and move it up a little. And I can insert another one here and crease it also. 
All right, so I got some sort of thing like that. Now let's get the top view and make sure that it's just fit with it. If I just hide this, you just can make sure that we are good to go. Right, maybe I just need to make it a little bit down. And from here, enable the Z buffering just to make sure that when it's hit the surface or the reference mesh. I'm gonna enable the constrained move now. Yeah, move a little like this. And let's figure out what we gonna do with this. So, what we're gonna do here is just, just inserting an edge here. And I'm going to extrude this. So that's probably going to be flat. Maybe that's the back glass. So I'm going to make sure it's just semi flat here. And the other thing here is this thing here. I'm going to insert another edge here and remove the constraint move. Go a little bit down like this. All right, so let's get the sub D mood. And now it just hopefully that should be it for now. Let's make sure everything here looks curvature and avoid any distortions. take this till here and make sure this flat and if we just I know just take this a little bit down
for the next step, what I'm going to do is just subdivide it many times to add more details. <clears throat> but before I do this, let me just get down with this a little. I'm going to hide the reference. So now I got my roof and everything seems to be good. the reference and I'm gonna just connect this together and let me go to mass tools and sickness Now let's go to see if there is something need to be edited. Okay, I the reference mesh again, and I'm going to subdivide twice, and I'm going to select this edge here. Of course, we're just still adding the symmetry, so I'm going to just take until here. Okay, now move it up a little, make sure I'm just going to crease this and move it like this. Maybe I need to take it from another way. I'm gonna keep this, remove this, keep this, remove this. Okay, then.
in case if we just added this lot of subdivide we probably could do anything at the top so let me say I just need to make some shape on the roof some sort of stuff like this and if we just crease it and adjust it like that remove this crease and I'm gonna add a little crease here so yes maybe if this is something like just testing the, the abilities that we can do on the roof. I can also insert in edges like this. All right, so that's for it. Now we should probably ready for 3D brand this and test it. I'm just converting it and here is our guy <clears throat> and this is solid Now here's the part after painting it and I just made some sanding on it uh, in case of make it a little bit smoother um, so the next step is I'm gonna just add some mate black color to give it like a better look on the car so I'm just gonna make the painting and show you the next step and here is it after painting as you seen it's not that good but it do the job so this is a nice made black so we're gonna give it um, like a better look while just adding to the roof of car so here is another board also just design it now it's just like a basic board and here is the uh, modern board or just adding some more details to the other one so that's the less detail it and uh, the more detail it it's just depending on how i want it